Hey everyone, my name is Sarah Levon and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am back for part two, all about newborn jaundice. So if you haven't seen part one, pause this video, go over there, you can click down below in the description box and find that video there or I'll link it above. And make sure you watch that video so you fully understand all about jaundice. But today I'm actually going to show you about the home Billy bed or Billy lights phototherapy for treating newborn jaundice. So in part one, I talked about how first line of treatment is just feed, 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 feed. So feed your little newborns. But if your newborn needs phototherapy to help treat the jaundice, the yellowing of the skin, then I'm gonna show you what that actually looks like with my newborn, how to set up the machine, how to navigate holding your newborn, what you can and maybe can't do, what you need to take into account for using phototherapy at home. But before I do that, make sure you subscribe down below, give it a like, share it with a friend, and then let's get started. All right, so I'm actually on the floor now, and I'm gonna show you all the different parts, and then I'm gonna go get my nephew, and we're gonna actually connect him to this for a second, okay? So this actually is from GE, not sponsored, okay? This is called the Billy Soft Billy bed from GE, okay? And so everything came in this bag. I pulled out all the different supplies. Basically, you have your base. This is gonna be your power source. This is where the light comes from. This is your off and on. Little kind of portable little guy here. There's the power cord. So we're gonna find the little power cord connector dealio. Plug that in. We need a power source. So I'm gonna plug it into the cord that I have here. And then now it's plugged in. So this thing does need to be plugged in when you're using it so you can move it around the house. It doesn't have to be in one specific place, but I do suggest that you kind of like pay attention to where you're at or bring an extension cord or something because that's gonna be important obviously for it to work. And then the, uh, the next piece is the actual Billy bed. So this is the unit. It has a flat surface and actually, I'm gonna show you, hopefully the light doesn't block it out. See how there's like this little baby on it <laughs> over here? That that's gonna be the where you place your baby on this side. Now there are some directions on the other side. There's directions that came in the bag. So this is the big guns. This is what you want. This is what's going to be placed near your newborn to help to bring down their bilirubin levels. So you wanna find the end of this cord. This does have no electrical source through it. So if there was a power surge, if something were to happen, this machine right here would block your baby from getting electrocuted, okay? So safety first. So I'm gonna plug this in, and it's really simple. It just plugs right in. I'm gonna place that down here, and then we're pretty much almost ready with our Billy bed. In the kit, there should be a Billy light cover. So it's just like a soft kind of paper-like cover that you're gonna put this into with the part that has the baby's like face or whatever, like the little outline here. You want that up so that the straps are on the bottom. I'll show you this in a second. So I, this is gonna cover the mat because the mat's like kind of rubbery and sticky. It's just gonna create more moisture on your newborn and we wanna keep them nice and dry so they're not getting more and more dehydrated, okay? So the part with the baby is on this side, then we have this covering, and then on the back is some straps. So these just soft straps can actually cover the newborn and you can kind of like tie them around their belly to help cradle them and to help the thing stay in place because that's gonna be probably the most annoying part of all of this, okay? So we've put the cover on, that's settled, and then we need our little goggles. So these little goggles should come in your kit. Take them out, they have a little Velcro on the back. So these are gonna go around your baby's head to cover their eyes for the duration of them being on the lights. It also has this little like head strap thing. So this goes around the top to hold it in place, kind of like a helmet. Um, honestly, we didn't really use the top strap quite as much. If it stays in place, that's what you want. You just wanna protect their eyes. Now, the studies are actually not very good that it really shouldn't affect their eyesight, but because it's light and prolonged exposure to super bright light is not good for us. It's like being in the sun for a really long time, so we wanna protect their eyes. 
So we have our goggles, we have our whole complete system, and then I'm gonna tell you to go grab a swaddle just cause it's a little bit easier to maneuver your newborn with a lightweight swaddle around them. Now, this can be any baby blanket. The flannel ones I'm not gonna recommend because one of the risks, as you learned in part one, is of the baby overheating, and so we want to avoid them overheating. We definitely don't want that, and so something lightweight just to kind of help you to hold them. You can wrap it around the baby if it's a little bit chilly, if they feel like they need that extra protection and that extra swaddle, all good. Make sure you have some sort of lightweight swaddle, and then I think we're ready for the baby. Okay, so I'm here with my nephew, meet Dakota. If you haven't met him already, he's like the cutest kid in the entire world, not that I'm biased or anything. And so I'm gonna show you how to use your billy bed. So what I did here was I got a swaddle. Oh, stretch it out, buddy, stretch it out. Cool, all right. So I got a swaddle and I set that up under the billy bed because I liked having access to the swaddle first. And then I have my billy bed that's set up here. I like it to be untwisted. So let me just put him kind of in my lap here while we get all set up, he's hanging out. So I'm gonna turn the billy bed because remember, this is the part that has the little like baby on it. This is the part we want up. Put it in the sleeve and then this part with the, with the tail part, that's gonna go out the bottom, like where his feet are. It's way easier than if it's up here where his head and neck is because his head's gonna be over here. So I'm gonna lay this down on the swaddle, sorry buddy. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna pull out the sides so that I can use this to tie around baby if I want. Lay it out and I want it so that the neck can kind of be covered. There can be a little bit of an edge here. If it ends up up here, which it's gonna slide back and forth, that's totally fine. We're gonna lay it right in the middle. And then this poor little dude, which he does not look jaundiced right now, especially if you saw the picture from part one. So we're gonna line him up on the billy mat. So basically we want the most of his body exposed as possible. You want for sure a diaper on, cover that up, make sure you don't have any spills anywhere. And then we are gonna cover his eyes with the goggles, but I'm gonna like keep him out of misery as long as possible. So basically this is gonna go over his eyes in a second, which I'll do last. Otherwise, he's on the mat, we want him totally exposed. Now, if he was just sleeping, he could be like this, his little stretchy self, so sweet. But we would wanna cover his eyes and we could just cover him and then turn it on like that. And notice how blue the light is, right? He's not gonna like this, okay? So that would be enough, so long as the temperature in the room isn't too cold. Now, it feels, he feels actually really good temperature. The hands and the feet are a good place to check their temperature. If they're feeling chilly, they're probably a little bit on the chilly side, but he feels nice and warm. So that would be enough, especially because the mat is going to omit a little bit of heat. But if it's a little bit chillier or he feels cold or you're worried about their temperature, then the other thing we can do is use the little strap here and tie this around his belly. Now you definitely still want some space here so that it's not pressing up against the belly. In fact, I would go almost a little bit looser just to hold it in place, tie it in a little bow, and then that's also gonna cradle them. For maneuvering the baby, it's actually pretty easy to pick up the baby like this. I can just literally use the mat. He's pooping. <laughs> You're so funny. So I could use the mat to hold him like this. If I wanted to bring him up skin to skin, I would literally just bring him up like this and he could snuggle me like this and then bring him back down. It's definitely precarious, but the more comfortable that you get with your newborn, the easier that that's gonna be, okay? So then if you're gonna swaddle them, and remember in part one we talked about their temperature being really important. What I noticed on him after a few hours of this was that he had a little bit of a rash here. He looked a little bit pink and so that might be a sign that he's overheating. We just unwrapped him and just kept him not swaddled. but. If it's on the colder side, what we would do is just kind of a loose swaddle and we're gonna cover him. I'm gonna lock his arms down and then roll him back, sorry love, and get it under the billy mat because we don't want anything in between the mat and his skin. We want the most skin exposed. This can stay open and then he likes his little hand by his face, so that's fine. Um, and then I'm just gonna cover him this way. Now, what we'll notice is that you almost don't even know that the mat is there and being swaddled makes it so much easier just in general to maneuver the baby and hold baby. 
you can still be there with him. You want to be sure though that when you turn this on, here comes the thing, that when I turn it on, notice that there is light that gets out on the sides, especially if this was open. So we would just cover the opening here. And then if he was turned in breastfeeding, we would grab like a burp cloth or something and just tuck it up so there was an added layer between the face and the billy mat when you are breastfeeding, okay? So that's probably fine but we're just gonna be really careful about their little eyes. Again, it's probably not the end of the world, but more often than not, it's just safer to cover their eyes. Now, if he was here, slash if I was gonna put him down to sleep or something, I'm gonna turn this off. If I was gonna put him down to sleep, then I would put the mask on him. And this poor guy is such a good sport. So I'm just gonna put this on you for one second so they can see how to do it, okay? You're covering their eyes like this. It's gonna go all the way around, lift up, and it has a little Velcro on the back. I'll, sh I'll lift him up in a second. His head's gotten so much bigger, oh my gosh. He's like 13 days old. So that honestly would probably stay, but then this can go across the top. High squeeze. <laughs> that, that can go across the top to kind of stabilize it. He's like, uh-uh. But that is enough to cover his eyes and help protect for when the light's on. So then you can hold him. You don't have to worry about it quite as much. I'm just kind of anal about it. But then he would either sleep by himself or if you're holding him, it's just, again, it's safer to wear the goggles. But if you're feeding and stuff, I like to say take off the goggles, just cover around the neck so that it's not quite as is like discombobulating for them when they're trying to feed, okay? And then they're on this for however long your pediatrician prescribes, but if let's say they say 24 hours or something, you want them on it ideally about 23 out of the 24 hours. I think that was a helpful piece that my family needed to learn because I think you're like, oh, I'll just take it off for feeds. That it's actually the amount of time on the mat is what's really gonna make a difference for breaking down the bilirubin in their blood. And so the longer, the better. You can still breastfeed, you can still swaddle, pay attention to overheating. If you take them off and they're just super hot and super pink, maybe forming a little bit of a heat rash, or they feel really sweaty, you wanna be really careful about making sure that they don't become dehydrated, that you're feeding regularly to help decrease the chance of that bilirubin continuing to accumulate in their blood. But otherwise, it's annoying, but totally possible and such a great option for you guys to be able to keep your newborns home and keep going with your routines and yet still decrease their chance of any kind of further complications. If you need to use phototherapy, I don't want you guys to stress about this. And so that's why I've created this video. I hope you found it super helpful. I also hope that you never have to see the Billy bed, but if you do, at least now, you know how to use it. You know what is possible. You know you can still hold your newborn. You know how kind of annoying it is, but understand this is 24 hours of your life, just like a contraction. It's annoying for a little bit, but ultimately it's going to benefit your newborn and help them to decrease those Billy Rubin levels and protect their little brains. Thanks everyone for being with me here today. Of course, if you want more from me, I have all sorts of things over at bundlebirth.com. You can go over there. I have online childbirth classes. You can work one-on-one -on -one with me through your pregnancy. I can be there at your birth virtually or in person if you're in Los Angeles and they're letting me back in the hospital at that point. Make sure you subscribe down below. And then if you don't follow me on Instagram, just know I am over on Instagram doing all sorts of extra education over there. I usually announce anything going on on YouTube YouTube over there a little more consistently than I do on my story here on YouTube, so I apologize for that. But just know if you wanna stay up to date on what's going on in my life or with my work or other little teaching tidbits here and there live, if I have giveaways going on, etc., you can head on over to Instagram, follow me at bundlebirth, and then until next time, don't forget to flex and flow, and I will see you soon. Bye. Okay, let's show the billy bed. This is kind of your main source of that, and then this is gonna, so, blah. I hope you found that video so helpful in your jaundice, jour jaundice journey. Huh. I hope that, I, mm -hmm. that's better. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I need to work out. This is not okay. Oh, Lord. Ooh, my hair looks just, wow. Thank you so much for being with me here to guide. Thanks everyone for being with, thanks everyone. Thank you, thanks. Ma's <laughs> Bob Ah, ha, ha.
Well, that was awkward. <laughs> okay. I didn't say subscribe. I'm supposed to say subscribe. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs>